How are you today, Mr. Bigby? Fuck off, Buffkin. Fable Town, a place where the works of Lewis Carroll, L. Frank Baum, and the Grimm Brothers go to live amongst the city folk of New York. Of course, like in the fairy tales themselves, you can't expect all of them to play nice. This is the story of the Wolf Among Us. Based on the comic book series Fables, the Fables are fairy tale creatures that were driven out of their homeland hundreds of years ago, now residing in New York City. In order to blend into the human populated setting, they use magic spells called glamour to give off human forms. At least for the ones who need it. I'm looking at a three foot toad in a sweater. Players assume the role of the Big Bad Wolf, now known as Bigby Wolf, who upholds the law as Fable Town's sheriff. This is no easy task, as the majority of residents hate him for all of his wrongdoings. Couple thousand more of these, we'll be even on that house you owe me. When a foul murder occurs, Bigby begins an investigation to track down the killer with the help of Snow White. Nothing will get easier later on for the Big Bad Wolf, and he will have to face obstacles that will prevent him from finding the culprit. How he handles the situations, however, are completely up to the player. The Wolf Among Us presents itself as a story-based detective game, and who better to develop such a game than Telltale, the creators of Sam and Max and the critically acclaimed Walking Dead. Along with making conversation-based decisions, players search for evidence at crime scenes and store them in an inventory for a further investigation. This being the first episode out of the five, there isn't much evidence to look at. Hopefully that will change in the later episodes. Telltale games have been highly respected for their formula of making conversation decisions, and The Wolf Among Us is no exception. An interesting premise and an assortment of different characters from all kinds of fairy tales only make it that much harder to lose focus. The only real problem I have is the choices seem very short term, with the exception of a couple ones that obviously state their importance. Quick time combat and chase sequences play a huge part in the game, but they feel rather stale. A portion of it has to do with frame rate lag, but more on that later. Telltale Games continues to stick with their cell shaded animation style, but that doesn't stop the story from being as mature as the comic book series it's based off of. The atmosphere has a genuine sense of film noir in the visuals and the music. The actors give believable performances that are incredibly realistic despite the absurd nature of the characters, which in turn only makes them more fascinating to listen to and interact with. While the game does look good with cell shaded visuals, I have to criticize the frame rate lag that occurs between shots, or better yet, during quick time events. At first, it sounds nitpicky of me, but during my second playthrough, a brief lag caused me to mess up pressing a button at the right time. I consider this a minor problem, but if I lose a guy in a chase because of some frame that wasn't there when it was supposed to be, we're gonna have a problem. Why <coughs> did you run? Episode 1 of The Wolf Among Us shows great promise for the rest of the season. With a compelling story being told by a riveting cast of characters, the only thing I ask for is more, especially after that appalling cliffhanger. That being said, Episode 2 is set to come out next month, so sharpen your claws and don't shave your beard, ladies, because this is only the beginning. Thanks for watching! What did you think of The Wolf Among Us Episode 1? Sound off spoiler free in the comments below. For more game related content, be sure to follow me on my various social networking accounts. I have a Twitter, I have a Facebook, I have an Instagram, a Vine, all that good stuff. Yes, even a Google Plus. Also, don't forget to subscribe to Ferris Wheel Productions. Until next time, I'm Joey Ferris, and may your Ferris ever be wheeling. <laughs>